Hey guys, DK here, and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Today we are going to make Toad from Super Mario Brothers. Aside since I made Mario and Luigi, I would make Toad also. Uh, that's what it'll look like when he's all finished. I will put a link with all the parts list up there and then over here I'll put a link to where to show you how to make the triangles if you don't know how to. All right. So, let's get started. Okay. First what you want to do is take a tan colored one and a white one with the tan on the black on the back side and the white facing forward and just slip it over like that. And what you want to do is make 18 pairs of these. And then once you've made your 18, your 18 pairs, all you're going to do is just connect them all together. Okay, this is what you should have with 18 in a row. Now what we're gonna do is increase it from 18 to 20. What we wanna do is start wherever you want to. On the first one, you're gonna put it straight over one of them. The other one, you're just gonna put it on one of the pockets and leave the other empty. And then you're gonna do it normally for seven more just by connecting these. So go seven. Then after the seventh, we're gonna put one just in one pocket, leave the other empty. And then you're just gonna start it over again. Just put the one straight over the top of it just put in one side of the pocket and then go seven. And then with this last one, just put one in the pocket right there. There, and then you'll have 20. And then you can kind of bend it if you want to. Kind of get formed up. Now what you want to do is take your white and go one more row with all white all the way around. Like that. And then you can kind of bend it a little bit, form them out. Then after you get that done, <clears throat> what you want to do is grab four white. Um, doesn't matter where you start at and put four white on there. Like that. And then fill the row, the rest of the row, yellow. Okay, like that. Then what you want to do is take three white. And put them over the other white that you've just done. Just starting in one. Three white like that. And then put a yellow on each side. And 
and then fill the rest in with green. There we go. Now what we're going to do is take two of the tan colors and put them on the white right in the middle. Just put two tan in like that. And then you're going to take two green and put one on each side. Wait, sorry, not green. Yellow, I meant. Yellow, there we go, that works better. Yellow on each side. And then fill the rest in with green. There we go. Now take another tan. Put it directly in the middle. And then put two yellow or one yellow on each side. Like that. And then fill the rest in with green. There we go. Now what we want to do is take two tan and put it on top of the other tan, just like this. And then take two yellow and put one on each side. Like that. And then fill the rest in with green. There we go. All right, now what we're gonna do, after you got this done, is we're gonna take the tan color and instead of putting them forward, we're gonna invert them and we're gonna put them on backwards like that. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do six rows of the tan, all of them inverted. So just go around six times and just keep them inverted just like that. All right, there we go with all the pieces, six rows of inverted. Now what we want to do is take and make one row 
with white and we're just going to make them, these are going to be the same, they're going to be inverted also. Just like that on there. And go all the way around with white. All right, so we should end up with as of right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to increase it from 20 to 28. And the rest of these that we put on, they're all going to be facing forward like that. No more inverted ones. So you can pretty much start wherever you want to. What you want to do with your first one is cover up a single triangle. Don't connect two of them together. You're just going to want to go over one of them just like that. And then what you're going to do is next one is you're going to just put it in one of the pockets, leave the other one empty. And then same with this other side. Just go in one of the pockets and leave the other one empty. And then your next one, you're going to cover up a full triangle. And then we're going to go one of the empty pockets. Then the other one's going to be, one side's going to be empty. Then we're going to go actually this one, sorry, this one, we're going to connect them together. And then the one after it is going to be have an empty pocket like that. And then the one after that's gonna slide over one of them. And then we're gonna go one of them. It's gonna have this side's gonna have an empty pocket. This one's gonna connect two of them together. This side's gonna have an empty pocket. And then this next one is going to go over a full one. It's going to go like that. And then this one will have an empty pocket. Next one after that, we're going to connect these two together. Like that, and then this one will have an empty pocket. Like that. And then this one's going to go just straight over the top of one of them, not connecting them. And then we're in, this one will have an empty pocket on the side there. This other side will have an empty pocket. And then we're going to slip this one just right over the top of them. And then we'll go empty pocket on this side. connect these two together and then an empty pocket on the other side and then this one's going to slip right over the top and then we go 
empty pocket right here. And then an empty pocket on the other side. And then this one's gonna go right over the top of one of them. And then we have an empty pocket right here. And then an empty pocket on the other side. There. And that increased it to 28. I know it kind of sucked. I couldn't find any better way to how to increase it to 28 and make it still look halfway decent. But at least we don't have to increase it anymore. So that'll work. Now what you want to do is take and put a row of white on what you did. So take 28 white and go all the way around with them. All right, there you go with the 28 on there. Now what you want to do is starting from the middle right here is you want to just go straight up and find this one and then right here you're going to want to put a green just like that and then put a green on each side. like that and then you're gonna go four white and then three green like that and then just keep repeating that pattern all the way around Okay, there we go. Now what we wanna do is start with the green and we're gonna go from three to four. So we're gonna put four green on there. And then after the four green, we're gonna put three white and then four green. So it's just gonna be the same pattern, just four green, three white, four green, three white, all the way around. There we go. Now what we're going to do is increase from four to five. So I'll just go one out on the green and put five of them on there. And then it'll be two white. And then five green. So pretty much five, two, five, two, five, two, five, two, all the way around. There we go. Now what we're gonna do after this is we're just gonna go with the green and we're gonna go down from five 
Then we're gonna go to four and then three and do that on each one. Go four, three, four, three, four, three on all the green. Okay, once you get that done, what you're gonna do is take your white and just fill in these spots in between the green so that it's all even. All right, there we go. That's what you should have for right now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease it now. We're gonna go from 28 down to 20. Okay, so now to decrease it from 28 to 20, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using white. We're just, you can start wherever you want to. And then we're just gonna go, put two in one and one in the other. So you're gonna be fitting two of these in the one pouch and one in the other. And just slide it down on there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is do four with the double pouch, and then you're gonna do one regular, like that. So you're gonna do four and then one regular, and just keep repeating that pattern all the way around. Like that, and that'll get you down to 20. Now what you wanna do is take white again, and we're just gonna put a regular row onto them. Don't decrease them again, just put a regular row of white. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go from 20 down to 18. And we're gonna be doing that with the green. All right, so to get it down from 20 to 18, what we're gonna do is first just, you can start anywhere, just put it on, one on regular, and then we're gonna put two in one pouch, one in the other. And then after you count, just go put one regular and then one, two, three, four, five, six doubles, and then one regular. And then the rest will be doubled. like that and then what we're going to do is put another row of green and we're just going to use 18 and just put them on normally like that you'll probably want to glue this these top couple rows because they'll want to slide off 
well, that's pretty much it for his body and head. Now what we want to do is put some feet on him. So you're going to take your brown and what we're going to do is starting from the middle right here, just go down to the middle white one right there. And then we're going to count, you know, one, two over like that and then just put it in there just like that and then you're gonna make six of these so just put them side by side like that and then you're just gonna do the same on the other side Like that, and there will be his feet. And then with his arms, all you're gonna do is take the tan color, take four of them, and just stack them on top of each other, like that. Make two of these. And then these are going to go on the side. Kind of like that. You can either push them in there into one of the corners. Kind of like that. Or you can glue them on there. However you want to do it. Uh, but I'll get he also has eyes and a mouth. I'll get that all done and get them glued together and show you the final product. Okay, so here is Toad and his final assembly after I put the arms on and then I just cut out some eyes and colored them in, same with his mouth, and just glued them on. But that'll be the final that you end up with. So I hope you like it. Um, if you do, hit that, hit that like button. Subscribe. If you've got any questions, just leave a comment. All right. Thanks again.